Masubi time so I'm gonna attempt to make it here's my spam um, and I'm dedicating this video to a some scrapper who's asked um, me to make a spam Masubi video and also Canadian scrapper girl because she's like fascinated with my love of mystery meat um, and Dale who gave me um, some of the ingredients um, Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it's taking me forever to make this. Um, but I'm using this barbecue sauce, Korean style. I tasted it. It's pretty tasty. So I um, have my rice in here. And um, I'm going to start frying up the Spam. Alright, so this might gross some people out. I've got my Spam. I'm opening it up. The rice is going right now. Um, you're supposed to use um, sushi rice. However, I don't have it, so I'm just using some regular rice. So you t peel this up, um, let me toss it. And then what you've got here is spam, which it looks like that. And then it makes this crazy sound when you take it out. Um, so it just comes out in one piece. Of course, it's not, oh, there it is. So <laughs> there's the Spam. And it's really crazy because um, when I was a kid, I remember it um, being pretty uh, like oily, but it's, I don't see any of that oil layer. It's crazy. So I'm just going to cut this into pieces. So, uh, in order for it to be even, I'm going to start in the middle and then keep cutting the middles. Um, I like my um, Spam to be pretty toasty. Um, and it looks like I'll be able to get eight Spam Masubis from this, which is cool. Hopefully I made enough rice. Um, there you go. All right, so that's all cut up, and I'm going to heat up the frying pan. Okay, guys, uh, we are in full-on frying the spam mode right now. The, um, the pan is nice and hot, and right now I'm placing the spam, um, the cut spam, into the pan. Um, so... I like my Spam nice and crispy, and, and after it, I crisp it up, I'm going to throw in some of this fabulous sauce Dale sent over to me. She's Creatively Chloe on YouTube, and it's this Korean-style barbecue sauce, so um, I tasted it, and it's fabulous, so um, stay tuned. Okay, I'm still powering through. Um, I'm As you can tell, I'm not a good, like, fryer of food, like, usually... If it involves frying and stuff, like scrubbies involved, but um, um, I like mine brown, so I brown that side. So I'm flipping these puppies over um, so the other side can be browned, um, like a little crispy. And this is really hard to do one-handed, <laughs> so um, I'm still powering through. Um, Hopefully this turns out. This is actually my first time making it. Usually when I um, eat Spam, I um, cut the whole thing into cubes and I make Spam, spam fried rice. Um, and, um, and that's it. So um, this will be the first time I'm making the Masubi. Um, okay, so I'm having a hard time flipping things over. But... Um, I'm really excited. Um, I can't wait until this is done. Because um, I'll be like eating all of them. Okay, so there you go. I'm just waiting for the other side to be browned up and crispy. And then I'll add the um, barbecue sauce and um, 
There you go. I think go. at this point I'm going to prep the seaweed. Um, so this is what I have. It's um, nori, roasted seaweed. Um, this is pretty good. I also eat, I also snack on seaweed and let me go grab okay, it real back. quick. Hold so on. So I actually, um, I got this at Costco, but I actually snack on seaweed too and it's pretty good. It's kind of like um, salty and it's really good. Um, salty and a little bit fishy, but um, I do, and I'm sure it, this t is like very similar to it, but I think I'm going to cut this up into the size of the masubi uh, so I can start rolling it up. I think I need my paper trimmer for this because the sheets are this big, but the um, spam is this wide. So I think if I cut these exactly in half, it'll be okay. So I have some kitchen scissors, um, which I dropped. Um, <laughs> and I think I'm just going to cut this directly in half. Um, all right. So I won't grab my paper trimmer. That's kind of crazy because, you know. Um, okay. At this I'll point, I've added the barbecue sauce. And I'm just going to let it caramelize right now on low heat because I don't want the sugar to burn. But that's what I used. Um, it's very flavorful. I love it. Um, so it's, if you guys haven't tasted it, it's kind of like. Um, it's not like American barbecue sauce. It's kind of like teriyaki um, with like a sesame seed flavor to it. So it's pretty good. I'm just going to let that caramelize and I'm going to cut up my nori, um, my seed Okay, you guys, rolls. it's so hard to film this, but I did a trial run and I didn't, I don't think I made enough rice, but the way I divvied up my rice was I um, just, I had eight masubi, so I just cut up my rice um, eight ways so I could make sure I had an even amount for each. But that's my first Spam Masubi. I'm so proud of it. I'm going to still try to make one in front of you guys, but um, I wanted to show you how the sauce came out. I don't remember if I showed it to you or not, but there's with the sauce and stuff. It's super good. Um, so let's try to make this. Um, so here's number one, and um, I'm going to need more practice, but I guess you could call these like diet spam masubi because it's like half the amount of rice that you need. <laughs> so um, let me grab, okay, I have like no clean plates, but um, I'm going like, to put that there for the done ones. And um, let's try this again. So I'm going to take my piece of nori, which I don't even know if I cut it right or not. Um, so my piece of nori, and then I'm going to take my Spam Masubi maker. I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to fill it up with rice. And typically you would put more, but like I said, I didn't cook enough rice. So I'm just putting in whatever is um, an eighth of what I cooked. Um, so I'm going to put the rice in there. And this rice is like super sticky. Um, sticky. All right, so I'm throwing my rice in there. Um, it's like all over the place. I totally washed my hands too. So there you go. And then I'm, I'm going to take one of my spams and I'm going to throw it on top. And then the, there's like this little pusher guy um, that you can use, and I haven't tried it yet. I just pulled it out because it pulled out fine. But um, like technically, the way you're supposed to use this thing is like go like this, and then lift up. So there you go. Um, and then you fold over this. But I haven't quite figured out how to make this stick to this. So I'm just going to use um, some teriyaki sauce to do that. So I'm totally improvising. <laughs> so I'm just grabbing some of that sauce to make it stick. And there's my dog because he wants some. Um, all right. Hold that over. And there you go. 
there's my spam masubi. Um, so I know these probably aren't perfect, but I'm gonna still carry on and then make the rest. So I'll show you these two that are completed. And I'll see you guys later, bye. Okay guys, I'm done making them. I'm gonna need a little bit more practice, but they're super yummy. And I started to eat one already and they're fabulous and yummy. Um, so I'm gonna keep practicing. I need to figure out how to close it up. But all in all, I'm so happy. I'm gonna make more of these. Um, that's all, I'll see you guys later, bye. Thank